Hello and welcome to the weekly financial modeling tips by the Startup Station. In this video, we're going to talk about the startup financial model structure. And I have uh, bad news and good news. Okay. The good news is that the startup financial models are simpler, right, than models of companies that have been around for a long time. But the bad news is that it's still the same structure. You still have the same financial statements, still called the same way. You still have to build all of the components in order to represent your business. So when I build a financial model, I typically uh, split into three parts of how I think about it. We're going to go over them right now. So inputs to the financial model are assumptions, right? And assumptions represent your strategic decisions. Sometimes they are uh, driven by your discretionary decisions or market, your uh, revenue projections, right? Your uh, variable costs, cause the change for the level of revenues, your fixed costs, which are salaries, your operating expenses, which are all overhead here, your working capital, okay, that's the capital that's required to operate your business because you don't get money or you don't spend money uh, when you say you do because of some differences in credit terms or because you have inventory. And uh, finally, any investments you make into your business, which are fixed tax. Right? So based on these inputs, right? And assumptions, by the way, help you calculate everything else, right? All of the, um, the next five inputs. You then calculate an output, which are financial statements, income statement, balance sheet, cash flow statement. You then calculate how much money you need and for what, and that's defined in milestones that you want to reach. You calculate your free cash flow, which is a form of a cash flow used to value companies and your company valuation, right? And then you do the analysis. Right in here, I put in some things that you would look at, such as margins, growth rates, customer acquisition costs, unit economics, contribution analysis, customer lifetime value. You do this analysis to see is the model optimal, right? What can be rethought in order to uh, position your business in the best way, in order to um, make sure that your metrics are going in the right direction, in order to properly represent your business in the most favorable life, right? And it's especially important uh, if you're raising money, but it's also important if you're just executing. You always want to evaluate the feasibility of different initiatives. You want to make sure that whatever you're projecting is moving your business in the right direction. And the way to see it is to do the financial analysis part. And so, voila, this is how a financial model should look. So here we go. If you like this video, Please like it and share it with your friends and colleagues. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more very useful financial modeling tips every week. And if you'd like to take our free masterclass, Build Credible Financials for Your Venture, the link is in the description. We're also present on social media. So look at the links in the description, follow us everywhere, and we will be able to help you take your startup to the stars. Thanks so much, and I will see you next week.